All right, thanks, Ted. <laughs> now, listen, it's time for the Adidas Action 3 <laughs> Sexiest Men in League competition. This week, we've got a Bronco and a former Panther legend. As a boyfriend, my best qualities would probably be caring. Um, I always make sure the person I'm with, I'm always trying to look after and make sure I can do the, uh, the best thing for them. My worst uh, physical feature at the moment will probably have to be my nose. I got uh, bitten by my mate's dog, so uh, it's not too pleasant. The things I fear most is the scary rides like the roller coasters, but um, the scariest ones you'll ever find me on these days is the uh, water slides. The highlight of my uh, life so far is probably last year's grand final win with the Broncos uh, was something special, something I'll always uh, remember and treasure. My favourite footy team was um, St George actually, I idolised Monday, Anthony Monday and uh, I've always liked to follow, like following St George. If I meet a girl out, it'll probably take me like a day or two to ring her, so that way she doesn't forget who I am. <laughs> Hi folks, I'm Matt Adamson. In 1997, I was named Sexiest Man in Rugby Life. I see you walking in the club, making moves, getting love, you know you're sexy. Yeah, you found me. Since retiring from Rugby League in 2005, I'm now the assistant coach of the Penrith Panthers. The great thing about coaching is uh, still being involved in the former club, the Panthers. Being able to coach these young players coming through our organisation is a thrill for me and I get mutual respect back from them. Yeah, you love me. Yeah, I didn't know Matty won it in uh, The Sexiest Man in 97, did you? Oh, back when his nose was straight. <laughs> <laughs> One of the other great things about coaching is I get to spend a lot of time with the family. You know, pick the kids up from school and spend time uh, with them is important to me. It also allows me to uh, use my time to set up uh, some community work that I want to do, and that's uh, putting a foundation together uh, in support of my daughter, who has a condition called alopecia. So I'm very lucky and very privileged that Rugby League gives me that opportunity. Uh, the footy show brought me back to be a judge actually in 98. So if I was going to give my tip for this year's Sexiest Man Rugby League, Nicky Youngquist from the Panthers have to be a tip. But an outsider and a bowler also, Matty Cooper from St George Illawarra Dragons. Get left. Yeah, thanks, man. The old guys keep plugging away. Robbie Kearns, Matt Adamson. Hey. Hey. Also, you'll be next MG. I was uh, Mr. Junior in 91's calendar. <laughs> All right, if you want to vote on that, the www.sexishmanandleaguecompetition.com.au uh, there, if you want to have a vote. He looks 40, Matt Adams. <laughs> <laughs> 40. Coaching Penrith, mate, that's what yeah, does Yeah, that's here. true. Now, look, um, 